Hi, crafty friends. You guys, I love this time of year when they put out all of the garden stuff. And these flags are adorable this year. So what we're gonna do is we're going to turn the flag into a piece of wall art. So I was kind of, as I started trimming around the edges, I was like, hmm, should I leave the letters on for welcome or not? And I just felt by removing it, I thought that would be better just for wall art. I guess if you were gonna hang this outside or maybe on your door or something, you could leave the welcome on. But again, I ended up, as I kind of moved through some more steps, um, that I was going to do that. So here I'm just kind of starting to trim. This is what happens when I get to crafting. I have this grand idea at first, and then as I start to go, I'm like, oh no, I think I want to change it to this. Oh no, I think I want to change it to that. Do you guys do that? Mm -hmm. All right, so with this, we could totally leave it just like it is, how we're going to hang it. But I decided to use some um, poster board to back it with. That way it will give it a little bit of weight for how we're going to hang this. And you'll see that in just a minute. So what I did was I cut a piece of poster board oh, approximately the size of the flag. And then um, I'm actually using fabric Mod Podge right now um, because I don't even know what fabric these are. I probably should have looked on the tag when before I threw the tag away and then took it out. Well, anyways, the Fabric Mod Podge worked fabulous. <laughs> and I know I'm putting that onto a piece of poster board, but it worked out. It probably would with regular Mod Podge as well. So once I got that done, I just started laying it on top of it and just smoothing it over, making sure there was no wrinkles or anything. And then this is where I was like, okay, I've got to take that welcome off. It's just not, not working for what I'm wanting to do. So I just... Got out my little rotary cutter and zipped that right off there. And then I also went ahead and put a, a coat of the Mod Podge over the top. It kind of took some of that sheen, um, how these flags are. So have you guys um, crafted with wood shims before? I absolutely love them. They're super cheap. And when you put them together, they make a perfectly perfect little flat piece of wood, which I love. So we're going to use four of them here. I'm going to glue um two together and two together. And these are going to become the top and the bottom for this wall art. I did, these are the long uh, shims. I didn't trim them or anything like that. Um, we're going to paint them up. I put a little bit of acrylic paint on them. And then what I decided to do was it was a little bit darker than I wanted. So I just grabbed um, a disinfectant wipe. Um, you could also grab a baby wipe and just kind of wipe it back. And then it looks uh, more like a stain. So once those are dry and our um, now flag is dry, what we're going to do is we are going to flip the shims over and then we are going to center the, um, the flag on it so that how this will hang on the wall is there'll be like this piece of wood at the top and then the piece of the wood at the bottom. And I just do a little bit of hot glue here because the cool thing about this is you could switch this out. It just pulls right off and then you could do this whole thing with another flag. So look how cool this turned out. I just, I just love it. I love sunflowers though. All right, friends, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow the page for more crafts.